Hi, this is Shana, and this pick a card reading is Will We Get Back Together? And we have four piles pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. So take your time to choose your pile, and you can pause the video if you like. And remember, this is a collective reading, and this is a yes or no question, so please take it as it resonates for your specific situation. So take your time, and I'll see you in a couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading with a green heart. So, first we have the magician, number one. Then we have the nine of cups. Then we have the sun. And we have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Then we have choosing your path, all is possible. Then we have Las Luz, uh, this is German, it means let go. And then we have the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul tribe. And then your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. So I hope you can see all the cards. Mm -hmm. Let's put them here to the side. Now, this one here is looking quite positive for those who chose pile number one. And this person you're asking about is someone who's very dear to you, someone very close to your heart. This person is part of your soul tribe. This is someone you have a very special connection to. This person is a soulmate of yours, is part of your soul tribe. This is someone you feel very comfortable with. You, Your connection is un undeniable. When you're together with this person, you just feel very much at home. You feel very much understood. It's like this um, person is part of your family, right? Or even closer as someone in your family. Someone who really gets you. You get the feeling you can talk about anything and everything with this person. This person is very, very close to you. So getting back together, this means you also... Uh, had a relationship with this person, no matter how short or how long, but it was very, very meaningful and is still very meaningful in your life. And I have the feeling it's very meaningful to both of you. And for many of you, I have the, um, the feeling you are still in contact with this person. And that's why, like, for those of you who are still in contact with this person, every time you um, you know, meet this person or talk to this person, there's always this feeling, this lingering feeling of why not get back together? We understand each other so well. And this person is a sun in your life. This person brings you joy, brings you happiness. Like I said, you have a very special connection and it's felt both ways. It's not just on your part. And again, with the nine of cups is this wish coming true. So getting back together with this person is very possible. It's almost like up to you. And this is something you've probably been thinking about because we have the magician here. And the magician here in this deck is knowing that it is possible. It would only be like a conversation away, a step away. And to make this happening. But you're still thinking about it if it is really the best for you. Because if you broke up, is there is a reason for that, right? So you still considering if this is the best for you. So it is possible that you get back together. It's actually, in your case here, pile number one, it's actually up to you if you really want this person back in your life or not. So you're still considering, you're still not sure. And, and there's something here 
because although the cards are quite positive, the, all the cards are saying, yes, it is possible. Yes, it would make you happy. And again, it is possible. All is possible. But you're still choosing. You're still not 100% sure. This tells me that something happened in the past. Maybe your heart was broken or maybe there was a break of trust as well. Um, there was something there that was major. Because for you to break away from such um, an important, such a meaningful connection, something major happened along the way. And that's why this card is telling you here to let go. Let go of this person, yes, but also let go of any expectations. I would even say let go of things that happened in the past. You know, because one of your fears from what I'm getting here is that things that happened in the past will repeat themselves, that you are stuck in the same situation. And because you're afraid of being stuck in a situation, it's why you're considering this. And it also tells me that if you're going back into this relationship, it will be for the long haul. It will be for forever, you know. And that's and I feel here a bit of fear of getting stuck in a situation because you're not getting into this situation just for fun or just for uh, a fling or just a, for a short period of time, just an adventure. No, if you know, if you go back, it will be for a long time and you're afraid of getting stuck into the situation. That's why this card here is like, hey, it's all coming together on its own. So let go. You don't have to do anything. And listen to your intuition. It could be also that either you or the other person that you both need a bit of more time in order to grow, in order to get your life in order. If there is like financial issues or even career issues or even personal emotional issues that you have to go through. So this card is telling you, hey, take your time. Everything is coming together as it should be. And when the moment is right, both of you will know what to do with this connection. But one thing that you have here, again, I'll, I'll stress it again. It's, I think many of you, like I said, you're still in, in contact with this person. This is a beautiful friendship. This is something that will never die. This connection will never die. Your bodies may disappear from the planet, but the connection, this soul connection, is forever and it has been since forever is this person is really part of your soul and so the connection will always last forever what you're questioning is what you want in this life and you are calling a partner you are wanting a partner in your life a true partner that will be there for you no matter what and that's why you're considering this person uh, to come again to your life but we have here, your commitment is being tested. So what's being tested is not the commitment to this person, because I think there's no doubt about the commitment to this person, at least on the soul level. And it's the, the commitment is to yourself. It's like, what do you really want? And then we have again here, the magician, we have choosing your path. And you're really considering, you're really going within and asking, what do I really want? Because you want happiness, you want clarity, you want someone whose loyalty is unwavering, right? And it, I have the feeling there was something in your past with this person that makes you doubt that this would be the best for you. So what the cards are saying, you take your time. There's nothing let go even of wanting this to happen. Because again, we have this card here saying everything is coming together for the highest good of everyone involved. And you will know what to do when the time is right. Your intuition will just jump on you, so to say. And it will be very, very clear. But know that it is possible to get back to this person, to get back together with this person is possible and it will be even very joyful it will be very beautiful but i have the feeling 
if you're still not 100% sure, there's some growing that still needs to be doing from both of the parts, not just you, but also both of the parts. And here we have this forever sign here. Can you see it? So this connection is forever and it won't go anywhere. This, but it's something that you're still working on. There's, you're working on yourselves, you and this other person, you're working on yourselves and there is still some growth to be done. Something that has to change, something that is fundamental for the relationship to work in a complete and beautiful way. But yes, and this person also would like this relationship to continue or to start over. Because again, it's like you bring each other luck. You bring each other beautiful feelings of happiness, of uh, feeling loved, of feeling understood. You're on the same brain wa um, wavelength. You understand each other on so many levels. But again, there was something in the past that didn't work out and this is where we are still considering if it would be the best thing for you or not but the, all you can do right now is let go and trust that you both both of you will be guided to the best solution and to the best approach and decision in this matter but yes it would be possible it's up to you and remember it's always up to you if something works out or not or if you always have the freedom to decide but it would be very very possible but it will be on the at the right time right you still need some time both of you so pile number one this was your reading i hope it resonates i hope it inspires you and Thank you so much to all of you that watch, like, and comment my videos, and also to those who subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to you. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, just click on the link in the description box below. So thank you so much, and have a wonderful time full of love. So if you chose pile number two with the crystal heart, this is your reading. So, will, will you get back together? We have the Empress, number three. Then we have Queen of Pentacles. Which is the same energy as the Empress. Then we have Knight of Wands. Then we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. Narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. You got two of these cards of this deck. We have grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. And then we have, in German it says... Um, it's not the right time. Wait a second, let's put this. Okay. And then we have no. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. And then time. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Now. This is very interesting. And we had the card with the no, but do not be afraid of that. So, the thing is, those who chose pile number two, many of you are mothers already, or you have to wish to be a mother and to start a family. So you want something serious, or you want something that's long-lasting, that has a strong foundation. You want to build something beautiful. You want to have a beautiful family. And some of you already have children as well. So you want someone you can count on. You want someone that will be there for you, right? And, and this is your energy, 
right? We have the Queen of Pentacles. So you are a strong woman. You are, you are also a very independent woman. You are someone uh, people can count on. And you're very dependable. You're very strong. You're very nurturing. And here we see this really strong woman who's building something for herself. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like, I, I, get, I get the feeling of uh, building an empire, even if it's just in your four walls, but you're building something that is really a value, that is nourishing, and you are someone that, you are, you are a mother, you are a family mother, you are this strong pillar that people can count on, You'll, you are there for everybody, and you want someone that really can help you in this role as well that you know you can share the burdens you can share the um, the joys of building something meaningful together so what i get is when these people when this person they moved out of your life for any reason right because we're talking getting back together so you already had a relationship with this person what you did was because you became very independent. You became even stronger. And this is something that is now very special to you. And this person is coming back. This person you asked about is coming back. But is in this energy of the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is very passionate, is full of fire and full of joy and full of life, but it's not very constant. So this could be, I wouldn't say a player, but if someone can be, you know, in and out of your life. So maybe the your relationship with this person has been uh, very on and off, making it difficult to start something that really has a value. And at this moment, although you would like this person to come back or you're considering this, you are defending your own empire because you're Empress, Queen of Pentacles energy. So you want something solid and not just someone that comes to have fun and then leave, right? Or just to share the nice moments and when, when the, uh, the going gets tough, the person disappears. So you want something that is really dependable and meaningful. And you're very strong right now. You know what you want. And that's why we have this card here. You deserve love. You are lovable. You are aware of this, of that you deserve love and that you deserve the kind of love that um, you're wishing for, that you know you're worthy of. And so you're not settling for anything else, right? Because here we have narrow pathway and tread thoughtfully. Because this person will come back. Now, the card is telling you, to be careful, you know, of putting your heart on the line once again. So they're telling you to ground yourself. And again, with these three cards is really an energy of grounding. We have the Empress, we have Queen of Pentacles, it's the earth element, and we have grounding. So it's really standing your ground, that's what I get here. Standing in your ground, know who you are, and to be 100% sure of what you really want. Because of course, when people, you know, <laughs> having... I'm going to be really blunt, but having sex and having fun is fantastic, it's wonderful, and, you know, it's part of the adult life as well, usually. So it's very healthy as well. So these are needs of our human body, and they should be respected as well. But on an emotional level is what do we need emotionally? Do we, do we need just, you know, someone for... A, some moments or some nights or some months or do we need someone to be there and this is what's becoming clearer and clearer to you right so the cards are telling you be careful this someone this person will come back 
and then for you to consider what is really important to you. So that's why we have this card here. That is not the, the right time at the moment, because I don't think that that person is ready to have that the level of commitment you would like from this person. So they're not ready. And so they're saying, just wait. You know, it's not the right moment right now. Just wait. And if the person offers you something that emotionally would, will cost you more than you can carry or you, you are ready to pay, so to say, right now, say no. You know, stand your ground to your emotional needs and take time to breathe out, to breathe out. So you probably need also a break from this person or from this um, on and off energy in order to be stronger, in order to know what you really need. So for those who chose pile number two, yes, this person is coming back. Yes, there's an opportunity of having something with this person, but it won't be the way you like to have it or the way you need it to be, right? So it's not the right moment right now, but it's not saying that it's impossible, but this person has to meet you at the level you want to be at. You both have to be on the same level you want on the same understanding of how you'd like to experience your relationship right how you want this relationship to continue or to grow and develop so you're still not seeing eye to eye this person is more on a very light and worry-free and carefree energy while you want something more but it may change in the future that's why we have here is not the right moment and telling you for you for you to wait and for you to rest emotionally as well because things will probably change in the future but at this moment in time it's not the right time okay so pile number two this was your reading i hope it resonates and inspires you and thank you so much to all that watch, like, and comment my videos. And also to those who subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, just click on the link in the description box below. So thank you so much and have a wonderful time. So if you chose pile number three with the red heart, this is your reading. So, your pile is very, very special. It got a lot more cards than the other piles. So, let's see what they say. First, we have Ace of Discs or the Ace of Pentacles. So, then we have the Devil, number 15. And now you got a lot more of these cards. So, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. You got three Aces. They all jumped out of the deck. They all wanted to communicate something. Let's see what it is in a couple of seconds. Let's see the other cards first. Then we have Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So that seems quite positive. Then we have Vast Vistas, Expand Your Horizons. I hope you can see it. Then this is uh, Get More Information. It's written in German, but it means Get More Information. I hope you can see all the cards. Let's put the aces here a bit closer together. There you go. Get more information. Then, the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. And believe in the impossible. Blue moon. So, pile number three. 
your pile is very, very interesting. Now, the answer is yes. I'll, but there's a lot more going on here. There's a lot going on here. So those are choose pile three. This person you're asking about, right? This person is the devil in this energy, right? So this is someone who's really toxic, right? Someone that has hurt you in the past, someone has, you know, that kept you hanging on in the past, and someone you cannot really completely let go of. And that's why you're here asking this. And there is really the danger that you fall into this toxicity again, that you fall into this codependency again. And it's like the devil here is really as, you know, almost challenging you. You know, let's see if you break the cycle. Let's see if you can deal with this in a different way. And so the invitation is here. This person is coming back. The invitation is really here. Now, and it will be a new beginning. And we have twice the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning. So it can even be that um, you probably work together on a project or even a class or whatever it is. It could be a work relationship um, and you start working together again or you you know there's a project and you have to work closer to one another and or you're studying in the same class you know no matter what the the scenario so here you're working together and this is a new beginning but it will be meaningful this new beginning will be meaning meaningful and will give you the chance of dealing with it also in a different way. And this is possible because we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is all about communication, yes, and also clarity of thought. So you'll start seeing the situation clearer. And this will give you a chance of reacting to it and acting in it in a different way, in a way that it's more logical. So you're not being a slave to your emotions anymore. So actually, you have the support of these three um, aces, also here with the, the fourth one. You have the support of four aces in order to deal with the situation. You know, you have the clarity, you have the impulse, the foundation, a strong foundation, and then you have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is about healing, so you can heal this toxicity you can heal this codependency so it's like a fresh new start but you already know how things worked in the past you are better prepared to deal with it and ace of cups is also uh the start of a new relationship or uh, a, a new start in an old relationship so the answer here is, is yes but it will be done differently. And again, you have here the confirmation, reconciliation. This person is coming back into your life, right? And with these two cards, it's like we have expand your horizons and get more information. Well, this is someone who really brings you new perspectives on life and new perspectives um, on love as well, right? Because there are many kinds of love. There are many kinds of um, or alternative ways of living as well. And it could be that this person is very unusual in their way of being, in their way of thinking, in their way of loving. And probably this was also the reason why you broke up in the first place or you went your separate ways in the first place. And but get more information is like, be sure you know what's really going on when this person comes back. Be sure what is, um, where, is this per where this person is coming from, where are really the intentions of this person, and what's going on in the life of this person at that moment. So 
This person is coming back, new beginnings, but you have to have your information. You know, you'll probably be head over heels. You'll be very, very tempted because this connection to this person is still very, very strong. But you should get your information. You should get the story of this person. Why is this person coming back? What this person really wants from you, right? But you're prepared. You're very logical at the moment. We had here the Ace of Swords. So you are prepared, right? And I have really the feeling for your pile. In the other piles, I haven't done any time predictions. But because with the Ace of Discs here... I would say spring, springtime, and spring is just around the corner. So spring, summer, you know, when the weather is better, is warmer. And, um, okay, I'm in the North Hemisphere. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, still, it's like now it will, you'll have autumn. So it will be the same period as springtime here. So, but it will be soon, even sooner than you expect, actually. It's when you least expect it, this person will be there in your life again. And then you have to make decisions if you are going to let this person in again, if you're going to shut this person off, and if you're letting this person in again, then what are the terms? And especially, you know, consider the terms with yourself. What are you allowing in your life again, what kind of emotions and how you want to be treated in your life. So this is quite important because remember, you always have the choice. You are the master of your life. Nobody else, no matter how tempting the devil is, you can always say no to the devil, even if it's difficult and hard, but you can always say no. So with the age of light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Okay, there are two messages here. First of all, you are prepared now to deal with the situation. And this is very important. This is like a test. This is what I'm getting here. This is a test. We have the devil, we have these cards and get more information. So from what I get here, the, you're being tested. And it's even like you probably even test yourself. How far have you come since you last saw this person or you've last been in a relationship with this person. How far have you come? What is your development? So again, the devil will tempt you. The devil will come and see, you know, how you're doing in your development. So because that's the, the role of the devil is to test you, you know, and with uh, get more information and you've been training for this for lifetimes is like now it's the moment of truth to know are you still falling into codependency are you are you a chaser are you someone who's always forgiving uh, or always admitting certain types of behavior just to be loved you know it's nothing wrong with it we all do it, or many of us do it sometimes in our lives, but comes a moment where you have you don't have to, but you can decide to do it differently. And the cards are saying, now is your chance to do things differently, to be truer to yourself, to be kinder to yourself, and to be more loyal to yourself. Because You've been growing a lot. So this is a new take on, a, on an old relationship with a reconciliation. You can see this differently. And you and this person, that's the second meaning. You've known each other for a long time. And that's why you pull to one another like magnets. So it's this, this uh, attraction is not just from your end. And that's why the person is coming. You're pulled to one another like magnets. It's like you have so much to teach each other. And it's like you also meeting to test each other as well. You know, and what it, in the 3D seems sometimes like cruel or hard, but actually on the 5D level, it's like it's, main these tests are then out of friendship and love so 
But now you're prepared. You are strong enough to deal with the situation. You know exactly what to do. And then we have believe in the impossible. And with this card, you have um, the blue moon. And you know the expression once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon, as you probably know, means it only happens once in a lifetime, right? And this is probably what you thought it was. So like, you probably wished this relationship to come about again and to have a second chance at it, but you weren't really believing it. You thought that was it, it's done. And probably if this person has hurt you, probably even said, no, I'm never taking this person in again, never in a lifetime right? But the impossible can happen. This person is coming back, right? So if this is something you wanted, this person to come back, congratulations, this person is coming back. And what you have to be careful of is not to fall into the same behaviors as you've done before, because this person can really test your limits, you know, and so, but you prepared, you know, to make the best decisions for you, be it not to take this person in at all, or if you decide to take this person in, so back into your life again, you'll know how to deal with the situation in a way that is fairer to all involved. And it's really, really beautiful. So pile number three, this was your reading I hope it resonates and inspires you. And thank you so much to all that watch, like, and comment my videos. And also to those who subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, just click on the link in the description box below. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful time full of love. So if you chose pile four... This is your reading with a black heart. Will you get back together? So we have the Seven of Cups, the pouch. And we have the Fool. We have number nine, the Hermit. Getting to know each other, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Grace and gratitude, through gratitude, joy expands. And get active, or be active, that was in German, aktiv werden. But in English means be active or get active. And share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. And you got two of these cards. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. And nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. So this is interesting, this card, this deck, because we have number seven, the seven of cups, the pouch. Well, in this deck, this card is all about parting, party life and having fun. But usually the seven of cups is uh, about having many choices and uh, not being able to make a choice. And so... Either you or this person have many choices right now. And, and I think it's also you. It's not just the other person. It's also you. You want to keep also. You would like this person to come back, but you'd like to keep your options open again because you'd like to enjoy life, to have fun. And this here is with the fool right? And with the hermit. It's like with the fool here, with this, in this deck, I have this feeling of surrendering to life and let, you know, and let that happen what's supposed to happen. So it's just 
diving into life and see what happens. And here with the hermit is also going within in order to know what you really want. So what I get here is Although a part of you would like this person to come back or you miss this person or what you had with this person, but I, it's like you don't really want it that much, right? So it's like you still don't know exactly what you want in a relationship or a relationship with this person or in what way. So there's still something here like still in the air, right? It's still not quite clear. And it could be that it takes for you to get to know each other better. And this will happen. You'll have the chance to contact this person again or to be in touch with this person again. And you still have to know each other better in order to also for you to know if you really want this person into your life. It could be that um, the relationship with the had this person wasn't very serious or it was more like a fling or it wasn't really something very deep or serious or long lasting. But although long lasting has nothing to do with serious or deep, in my opinion, but it it has it was something I have the feeling that was short lived. Let's put it that way. Yes, so that was short lived, and maybe it was just a fun thing you you had together, and you miss this person for some reason. You had a fallout, or you you know didn't get to continue this relationship and you miss this person and you'd like to know this person better as well. And this chance will come and you'll be very grateful for this as well. So it will be is someone that you like to talk to, is someone that you feel comfortable with and you can be active, you can contact this person, you can even like, you know, go on dates with this person again or Go traveling even together, something that you can do together, something active. But what I feel here, you need, both of you need to get to know each other better in order to decide if you'd like a commitment or not. Then we have share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. And this is the thing here. There's some fear here. There's some fear of contacting, either contacting the person, of being active, of, of doing, you know, being proactive in this situation. But it's also some fear of sharing who you are. And that's why getting to know each other is so important. It's some fear that you won't be accepted for what you are, some fear that um, the other person won't understand. There's some part of you that you feel that would probably not be accepted or understood, you know, be it a part of your personality or part of the way you live or even your emotional or sexual preferences, something that you feel you're not really able to share but the thing is you can't share that with this person you know this person is very graceful this person is also very kind that's what I get from this card it's very graceful and very kind and um, but what I get here you'll have the, the opportunity of deciding to share yourself with this person but nothing will come out of this situation so you this is a someone from your past that you daydream about that's that's what i was missing okay yes is someone you daydream about okay it's all coming together now sorry that it took a bit longer this is the 
Because the seven of cups is also the card of daydreaming, of imagining something being better. You know, even with the debauch card and the having fun card, this makes sense as well. You know, like for instance, let's say you decided to stay at home one weekend and your friends were all went out and they told you, oh, we were here and there and it was so amazing, so much fun. And then when you go, you know, you have such high expectations of this place or whatever, or event or whatever it was. And then when you see it, it's like it was, eh, you know, nothing special because it didn't meet your expectations. That's this here. You've been daydreaming about this person and, you know, about the past. And when we start daydreaming about the past, we always make it better as it what really was. We always... I idealize it. We always r romanticize it as well. And this is what's here with the Seven of Cups and this too. So it's probably you spent a lot of time dreaming about this, wishing it to come true and just, oh, if I had a chance. Thing is, the moment you get the chance, and I believe you probably will have a chance, and you get to know each other you'll see the reality of the situation. You'll see how this person really is. You see, and you you won't like it. That's what I get it, you know. Doesn't matter how, how graceful and kind this person is, it's really, you won't really see eye to eye. And you won't feel free. And again, this is the that what I get the fear. You won't feel free to share yourself the way you really are. You won't feel comfortable. Maybe because, right? So uh, on on a podest, a pedestal, I mean, uh, on a pedestal, and it is you find it's hard to reach. And it can you can have here many scenarios. And remember, this is a collective reading. There are many of you out there, but. There will be, that, that's what I'm getting, some kind of disappointment. If, you know, when you get the chance of getting to know this person better and see if it's like a relationship or a new start in this relationship is viable, there's some kind of disappointment. And that's why we have these cards here at the end saying, hey, don't let your past hold you back and just move forward because nothing will come out of this situation. So the answer, if you'll get back together in a relationship, is here actually no. And it will be the best for you. And it's good that it's a no. The, the feeling I'm getting here is you're projecting something onto this person that just isn't there. You're projecting your emotional needs, your desires, your fantasies onto this person. And that this person isn't it. The person you're looking for is out there. And is this person is on his or her way to you right now. So don't let your past hold you back. This person is not the person. And I'm sorry, I'm being really blunt. But you're, the right person for you is on its way. So show grace and gratitude for your past. You know, be grateful for everything that happened and and also for making it clear to you, for making clear to you what you really want out of a person in a relationship because that's what that daydreaming is about, is actually telling you what you really want. But it's not that person. Your person that you're daydreaming about convinces this one it's on its way. Believe me, if that person, it's on his or her way to you right now. So please don't be sad about this reading because something amazing is coming your way. I can feel it. So you can let this go. So pile number three, uh, number four, I'm sorry. Pile number four, thank you so much for watching this reading. And I hope it resonates. 
and inspires you and thank you so much to all that watch like and comment my videos and also to those who subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me and if you if you would like to follow me on instagram just click on the link in the description box below so thank you so much and have a wonderful time full of love